100 more LCA Tejas fighters. The homegrown fighter jet is getting a brand new lease of life. It's taken a long time coming, but the Indian Air Force has signaled to the government that it is not going to be happy with just 100 or 120 of these homegrown fighter jets. It has decided to move a case to order at least 100 more, and it gets even bigger than that. Watch this report. A few seconds of video footage filmed over the Arabian Sea on the 23rd of August. An image that seems like a routine missile test firing, but is actually something exploding with significance. What you're looking at is a homegrown Tejas fighter firing a homegrown Astra beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. This is Indian air power like India has never ever known it before. This is only the first of many tests, but the signal in these images is clear. An Indian fighter firing an Indian missile. India is pushing hard to be more self-reliant in air power and aerial weaponry. The Astra is a cutting-edge new missile capable of engaging enemy aircraft up to 80 kilometers away. To target enemy aircraft beyond visual range, the Indian Air Force currently depends on Russian R-77, Israeli Derby missiles and of course the meteor that has come with the Indian Air Force's new Rafale fighters. The Astra puts India in a very small club of nations that make these formidable aerial weapons. What's more, the Indian Air Force is reportedly looking to make the Astra a standard air-to-air -air weapon even on its new Rafale fighters. If things go as planned, the Astra could therefore potentially also be exported to other countries that fly the Rafale. It goes without saying that the Astra will likely be comparable in capability but only a fraction of the price of foreign missiles. Apart from the missile itself, this dramatic footage from off the Goa coast also heralds a new chapter in India's Tejas program. With a slew of major expansions in the indigenous fighter project. The Tejas you see on your screen is the baseline Mark I version of the indigenous fighter. 40 of which are currently either in service or on order with the Indian Air Force. Starting next year, a highly improved version called the Tejas Mark I-A will begin deliveries to the Indian Air Force. Eighty-three of the Mark I-A are to be inducted over the next few years. And now, things have gone to the next level entirely. Right when this episode of Battle Cry was being put together, news agency ANI reported that the Indian Air Force has decided to more than double its order of the Tejas Mark I-A. and is putting together plans to order a further 100 of this fighter type. In other words, the total fleet size of the Tejas Mark I-A will be 183. total Tejas fleet in the Air Force will top well over 200 aircraft. An incredible feat for the program. Battlecry has learnt 
that while the two current squadrons of the Tejas are situated in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, incoming squadrons could be based in northern parts of the country, including in frontline areas like Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and the Northeast. A much more advanced version of the Tejas, called the LCA Mark II, sporting a more powerful engine, greater range, more advanced avionics and weapons, among a lot else, is also shaping up very well, with a rollout scheduled for this decade itself, and at least 120 of the type to be finally ordered. It is for this jet, the LCA Mark II, that India and the United States recently firmed up a partnership to assemble General Electric F414 engines in India. There's a long way to go, but the Tejas program is clearly firing on all cylinders.